One gone. Taz! Wake up. The fingers are after us. Hurry up, let's go! Welcome to the Gamers League E3 2011 Awards with your host, Mikey and Taz. A little bit too much he there, Tata. He was playing our uh, Gamers League Revenge of the Flamers game, which is yes. never going to come out. Exactly. Anyways, that's not the point of the show, yeah, guys. That's right, that's right. Today's point of the show is to give out awards. Yeah. To seven good categories. And the last category meaning the best yeah, is the best overall E3 game of yeah. 2011. And it got picked by you, the viewers. You guys voted for everything. All right, so let's just get right into it. We got a lot of guests tonight, a lot of nominees, a lot of awards to give out. Mm -hmm. So... Let's right now, let's welcome our first guest of today. His name is Olester, and he's made videos for us, and I'm really excited to have him here. And we're gonna be streaming him live with our GLTV. Yeah, That's so, gonna be crazy, because so, yeah. it's like the first time we're doing this. Exactly. So let's get on. Then let's get him right there on the TV. What's up, Olester? Hey uh, guys, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome anytime. So, Olester, I wanna know what you think is going to win the best overall game of Even Easter. though I don't have a PS3, I'm gonna go with Uncharted 3. It amazes me how the development company can, you know, consistently uh, put out quality games of that, you know, of that series. Every single one is great, so I'm get, I'm thinking uh, it's going to be Uncharted 3. Yeah, you know what, Uncharted looks very, very exciting. I'm actually yeah, looking up to that game. Yeah, it, it looks... It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be a, good. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be good. good. But, you know, yeah. So thank you, Alester, for everything. Yeah. We appreciate it. You know. So we're gonna be right back after these commercial breaks. Calling all writers! Calling all writers! If you're an interested intellectual and aspiring writer, go right now to GamerSeek.com. Go to the Write For Us section. Thank you very much. Make sure to go to www.GamerSeek.com. Oh yeah, we're back here, guys. And you know what? I'm real excited to announce this new guest star that we have appearing in this award show. And you all love him. You've all seen him before. His name is Tata. Check him out right here. Tata, tell us what's up. What's up, guys? Yes, I am back. This is Tata. So before I get to the nominations for best Xbox 360 game of E3, I want to talk about the keynote. <sighs> it wasn't that good. It was just Connect, Gears of War 3, and Modern Warfare 3. Mostly Connect, though. So. The nominations for Best Xbox 360 Game of E3 are Nominees for Best Xbox 360 Game Gears of War 3 Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Fable The Journey is coming. There can be no turning back so the winner for best Xbox 360 game of E3 is Gears of War 3. Well, Tata got a little excited there for God 3. You know, I'm real excited that Gears of War 3 won because that is the only game that Xbox has for this year. So why don't we now introduce our next guest. Oh, our next guest. This is brand new, guys. You've never seen him before. His name is Fear. So let's give him a warm welcome, guys. Go so Fear, take it away. Thank you guys for having me here at Gamers League. Uh, Nintendo brought a lot of news at E3 this year, a uh, new game and a new console. So here are the nominees for Nintendo's best game at E3. Nominees, nominees for best Nintendo, Nintendo game are The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Super Mario 3DS, Luigi's Mansion 2, Icarus. Resident Evil Revelations. I... I messed up. And the winner is... The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. 
definitely Nintendo took it away in the stage with Zelda. You definitely appreciate the whole fact that you know they're, they're it's coming back. It's coming back, yeah, definitely. And every time a Zelda game is in E3, it has to be the best Nintendo game. So now let's go back to the next category. Yeah. Go Introducing ahead. back to Zelda. Every year at E3, you always see those amazing trailers of all these awesome games that are come out. But this year, there only could be one. Here are the nominations for Best Trailer at E3. Nominees for Best Trailer are Tomb Raider. Ah! Uncharted 3. Just tell me what you're looking for. Ah! Assassin's Creed Revelations. From Mass Effect 3. If Shepard doesn't bring help, Halo 4. Alright, guys, the winner of Best Trailer V3 is. Gears of War 3. What? I mean. Science Creed Relations! Yeah! yeah! You know what? That was a good award. To Definitely. Assassin's Creed well Revelations. deserved. Yeah, that well CG deserved. trailer just. It was, just, it had, it it was, was the best trailer. It was definitely deserved and kind of, you know, we already yeah. knew it was coming. Yeah, we knew it was coming. You know what? Let's just get right into the next nomination. Here we go, Tata. Let's tell us what we got. Tell us what we got. Every year at E3, when you're watching it, you're like, man, I can't wait for that game. Man, I can't wait for that game also. But you know what? There's always that one game that you can't wait for it to come out. Here are the nominations for Best Anticipated Game of E3 2011. Nominees for Most Anticipated Game Award are Gears of War 3. If he's still alive, I've got to find him. Dead Island. Uncharted 3. The Ruble Kali Desert, 600 miles across. I like the immeasurable wealth part anyway. Battlefield 3. Mass Effect 3. Coming in from other major cities. It's a well coordinated attack. And so far, it's been damned effective. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. All right, guys. The winner of most anticipated game is... Gears of War 3. What? That was a well-deserved award. You kind of overreacted there yeah, again. You know, you know. Too much Gears of War for him. No, so. definitely. But you know, it does deserve it because no. we've known about Gears of War 3 for the longest already. We just wanted to come out. Yeah, we we want to play it. We played the first one. Yeah. We loved the second one. So yeah. the third one can't get any better. Yeah. The next award, we're going straight to Feared again. Let's go, Feared. Tony has always been known for its exclusive titles, and we have seen plenty of them at this year's E3. So here are the nominees for Sony's best game at E3. Nominees for best Sony game, Uncharted 3. Don't trust Drake. What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I just want to Twisted Metal. Resistance 3. Life Cooper, Thieves in Time. And the winner for Sony's best game is... Uncharted 3. That was good. Uncharted 3 definitely deserves it. You know yes. what, Naughty Dog, take the trophy at yeah, while you can. No, no, it, it really did good though. Yeah, did the game looks very promising as yeah. well. It has a lot of good elements in there, continuing the story. Yeah. Something I'm looking forward to yeah. the multiplayer. It was definitely the best Sony game. I'm confident this game's gonna make me happy. Yeah, it, of course it's gonna make me happy. I'm yeah, probably gonna buy Uncharted 4. So you know what, Mikey? Yeah. And let's introduce a very special guest coming from Germany, all the way from Germany. He's one of our contributing writers from the GamersLeague.com. Make Website. sure to go to it. Mm -hmm. so let's well. just welcome him, Mikey. Right, Here we go. go, Jacob. What's up, Jacob, bro? How hey you guys. doing? What's up? What do you feel of your most anticipated game? Many people, especially the Gamers League crew, have already decided on Gears of War, taking that yeah. lead. But how about you? What's your most anticipated game uh, that you saw from E3 2011? Well, my most anticipated game, just by the trailer or the teaser, is Halo 4, because I'm a really big Halo fan. I love the series. But um, I'm really most excited uh, about Tomb Raider, because it's and not like a big title, it's an old franchise, 
but uh, I just want to to look at how they how they made the new Lara Croft. It she looks more dirty around this time. Sorry, <laughs> but it, it looks more realistic, and I I hope to. Uh, get some fun out of that and I'm, I'm very very excited to, to play that yeah you know I'm pretty excited for Tomb Raider the new one looks amazing uh, let me say something that's not gonna make sense maybe it looks kind of like uncharted we talked mm -hmm. about that in the episode yeah. yeah it definitely has a lot of factors yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. elements from you know, uncharted elements. I don't know I've never seen the gunplay but the way she moves around the action the yeah, adventure and the, you know, the, yeah it kind of looks like uncharted the buttons and all yeah. that interactive so, stuff so anyways we want to thank Jacob yeah, back for to this. Uh, coming out to the show and giving us his thoughts and thank his insights. Thank you very insights. much, by the way. Yeah, we wanted to thank him a lot. He's a contributing writer, so we yeah. really appreciate his support to Gamers League. He yeah. writes a lot of articles. He's been with us since kind of since last year in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But he wasn't blended in now. He's like yeah. one of the last remaining writers from all yeah. the writers that we had before. So if you want to write, go to our website. Yeah, actually, that actually goes on to our next commercial break. For real, Mikey? Yes. Didn't we just show that in the last commercial break? The next one is now. Calling all writers, calling all writers. If you're an interested, intellectual, and aspiring writer, go right now to GamerSeek.com, go to the Write For Us section. Thank you very much. Make sure to go to www.GamerSeek.com. So, Mikey, there's always a lot of games at E3 that you want to get. You know, everything looks good in E3, but there's always that one game that outshines the rest of the games Definitely. At E3. Whether it's from Nintendo, Microsoft, or Sony, yeah. there's that one game that comes out and shines out yeah, this year. It could be year. from any category, any console, anything. Especially yeah. at E3. Yeah. And we appreciate your votes, guys. Yeah. What was, did your favorite best overall game win? Unfortunately not, it was Ooh, in third place. Damn, well mine won. All right. Mine so. won. And the nominees for the best overall game at E3 2011 are... Nominees for best overall game, Bioshock Infinite. Three. There won't be an Earth left to save. Uncharted Three. Nope. No diabolical warlords. No. no. Battlefield Three. Of Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh, All right, so the winner of the best overall game at E3 is Uncharted 3. Drake's Deception. Woo! They, do to them. they deserve Naughty it. Naughty Dog, Dog deserves it. Naughty Dog is a great company, a great developer. They're, they're really pushing the boundaries. No, they are. They are. It's it great. So a lot of things are coming to Uncharted 3. I'm very happy for them. I'm very excited as yeah. well. We're, we appreciate every single vote for yeah. this. I mean, unfortunately, you're going for Mass Effect. I was going for Uncharted 3 the whole time. There's a little battle there. But uh, you know what, Mikey? All the nominees, I think, deserve to win. Definitely, but it was a close call between Uncharted 3 and Battlefield 3. They're like right there. Close race. So there's yeah. probably a lot of good people out there yeah. separated to 50 50, you yeah. know? So, you know, that's pretty much it for the award show. We want to thank all the guests that came to our show today. Be feared, Data, or Lester, and Jacob, yeah. all the way from Germany. Germany. Yeah. So that's, that's we want to just thank all of you guys for, for the watching. Of our hearts. You know, very, very nice of you coming out here, especially Tata. You know, we, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. You guys finally get to see Tata, a new member, feared. That's right. Maybe in the future, he's gonna Hopefully. start coming out. Definitely. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of new things coming to Game of the Week. Maybe uh, Game of the Year awards later on oh, this year. That's right. We're gonna probably do this again. Yes. And who knows? Maybe Uncharted Three could get overthrown. Yeah. Never know. 2011 is a crazy year, guys. So we're signing out now. This is Taz. This is Mikey. GFG, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And rate us. Don't come.